Hello, this is Finished and welcome back to Skipping with Jesus. I am excited to share a, a word with you um, from Abba Father um, that he um, spoke to me to scribe on the morning of um, 2-7-24 um, at 12-20 a.m. And the title of his spoken word is, Speak, Lord, I am listening. Holy Spirit, I pray um, that um, these words go out to the hearts that you have prepared to receive. And I am um, surrendered to you. Speak through my voice these words that Abba has spoken to us to deliver in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Jesus. And as always, we marry um, the spoken word with the written word. And this word is found in 1 Samuel 3 and 10 in the New Living Translation. And it says, And the Lord came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel replied, Speak, your servant is listening. And this is the spoken word from Abba Father. Speak, Lord, I am listening. This should be the immediate reply from all my children when, you, when they hear me call their name. What makes me have to repeat your name multiple times before I am heard? When I speak, all my children should know my voice answering with, Yes, Lord, I am listening. The more you spend intimate time with me, the more familiar you will, be hear, you will be hearing my voice. Remember, when I spoke to Moses through a burning bush, to Noah to build an ark, or to Joshua to lead my people into their promised land? What about when I sent Jonah to the evil town of Nineveh? or sent Jer uh, Nehemiah to rebuild the city walls of Jerusalem. Then there was the one in the wilderness that I sent to prepare the way for my son, John the Baptist. He leaped in his mother's womb when my son's presence entered the room. Let us not forget when I sent uh, my messenger angel to my favored one, Mary. She heard my voice through the messenger saying to her, she would conceive through the Holy Spirit and birth my son, the savior of the world. Then there was Saul converted to Paul on the road to Damascus. Each one heard my voice and responded to my will. There is no difference in my voice now as it was back then. There is no difference today in how my children respond or how I should say the time it takes them to respond. You are living in my extended grace, so it is all the more important for you to know my voice, responding, Speak, Lord, I am listening, just as my prophet Samuel responded to my voice. There are many divine assignments I have planned for those of my children who choose to respond to my voice in bringing my kingdom to earth. The signs of the last day are being fulfilled. Do you not see them? Do you not hear the news proclaiming the return of my son for his bride is soon? Lock yourself in your secret place until you hear my voice and respond to that which I am asking you to accomplish. There is no time to delay that which I have planned and purposed for your life and destiny in me. For I know the plans I have for you. They are meant for your good and not to harm you. Hear me when I say, I desire you to come up higher with me Go deeper into my ways during these last days prior to my son's return. Those that respond, the Holy Spirit will give you a holy driving power, passion for knowing the secrets of my kingdom that I desire to share with you. Those secrets you search out and discover are for you 
your children, and your children's children. Keep pressing into my voice, allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you the deeper things of my kingdom and my son. In this way, you will be prepared when I call to answer. Yes, Lord, I am listening. Send me, says the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Exodus 3 and 4 in the Amplified, it says, When the Lord saw that he turned away from the flock to look, speaking of Moses, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here am I. In Isaiah 6 and 8 in the Amplified, Isaiah and the Lord speaking. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. And Jeremiah 29 and 11 in the New Living Translation. For I know the paths I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And then in Jonah 1 and 2 in the New Living Translation. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh. Announce my judgment against it because I have seen how wicked its people are. And then we know what happened to Jonah when he tried to um, go against what God had um, sent him for. He wound up in the belly of a well, but yet he still wound up going to Nineveh. And in Acts 9, 3 through 6 in the Amplified, as this is speaking of Saul that became Paul, okay? As he traveled, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him, displaying the glory and majesty of Christ. And he fell to the ground, and he heard a voice from heaven saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting and oppressing me? And Saul said, Who are you, Lord? And he answered, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. And then in Ephesians 2 and 10 in the Amplified. For we are his workmanship, his own masterpiece, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths which he set so that we would walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me through this work. Thank you for igniting my heart my Lord's voice. God, may we realize that we are your workmanship, that you planned for such a time as this. May we, may we hear your voice and, and go where you command us to go and say what you tell us to say. And for all this to be glory to Jesus. We love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And until next time, I pray the Father finds us faithful in walking down that uncharted path with Jesus, hearing God's voice speak to us. I love you all, and until next time, may God bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you. Goodbye.